Catholics here in Connecticut are offering prayers after the fire at the Cathedral of Notre Dame, even thinking back on their own history after a fire at St. Joseph's Cathedral back in the 1950s. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Jennifer Lee is live in Hartford. And Jenny, many, uh, Jennifer, many are heartbroken over the loss of this cathedral. Yes, they are, Denise, and they're hopeful that Notre Dame Cathedral will rebuild. If you look over in this direction, you can see St. Joseph's Cathedral rebuilt in 1960 after a fire destroyed their building. Today is special mass during Holy Week at St. Joseph's Cathedral in Hartford, and it was an emotional one for Catholics reflecting on Notre Dame. Truly a shame that such a magnificent and, and spiritual building is no longer with us. Towards the end of Mass, the Archbishop showing their support after the devastating fire in Paris. Our prayers are united with all the prayers of the people of France. We did have our cathedral, not of such historical value, but it burned down on December 31st, 1956. This is footage from the day of the fire in Hartford when St. Joseph's burned to the ground on New Year's Eve 1956. Just as people ran to the beloved cathedral in Paris yesterday, so did the people of the Hartford Archdiocese more than 60 years ago. I was only three years old. I've heard about it and to think that this great building and structure rebuilt from the ashes, I, I can only hope that the cathedral in Notre Dame, uh, Paris will rise from the ashes again. A message of strength and rising from the ashes befitting for Holy Week. Cathedral Notre Dame is a place of prayer and hopefully it will remain the same, that it's not just a historical monument, but it lives for each generation of believers. Now, Father Shanley says that they believe with everyone's help from around the world, Notre Dame Cathedral will rebuild not to what it was, but something new. Reporting live in Hartford, Jennifer Lee, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.